What up, dogs? Welcome back to Garo Attacks. Uh, Clicker Heroes, Rar. Let's get right back into it, shall we? We're just giving levels to Frostleaf here because Frostleaf's the best person to give levels to. Right before we pick up Terra, and we haven't picked up Terra just yet. You know, just still leveling up these other dudes right here. I think at the point where uh, Dread Knight gets to level 1000 is when he becomes better than Frostleaf. But, uh, but keep in mind that right around the time where we pick up level 1000 for Dread Knight is right around the time where we pick up just just pick up Terra. Right, right, right there. Right then and there. So, uh, so I think I have a new strategy here. Oh, wow. Just give that. Give that away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Um. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Dread Knight and Frostleaf are starting to do equal amounts of damage. A little bit more uh, favored on the Dread Knight side. Eh, not really. Actually, now that I'm looking at it. But, um. <clears throat> excuse me while I drink some water. I just burped a little bit of stomach acid in my throat. Give me a sec. Oh yeah, the water it does a body good. Yeah, let's start uh, start doing some stuff over here. There you go. Oh, did I just level up Frostleaf a bunch? God damn it! I want to level up Dread Knight a bunch too. I gave that last little bit to fucking Atlas. God damn it! That's not nice. Right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. We are on stars, so uh, <coughs> once stars are done with, uh, it's gonna be uh, 68 basically. 68s and then uh, move into 69s. The problem is I'm spending money equally on like three dudes when I really don't need to be. It's just, you know, I could just lift up Frostleaf and Frostleaf would be my guy. And we'd still have like super enough um, uh, monies <coughs> to save up for Terra. But then again, like uh, I'm pretty sure all the money that I'm spending on these dudes is like negligible to Terra's amount of money. Like not even, not even touching it really. 68, however, and that's you know that's cutting it close. You know, oh. Oh, well, there's a 69 right there. I I feel like now that we've hit up the 69s area, maybe, maybe just pause a little bit. Stop spending so much money. We're right about to get Terra, and then that's when we just spend all our money on that dude, right? Hold on. Let me let's see if this does anything. It does. It lowers it by quite a bit, actually, now that I saw that. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I basically just did it to see, um, and also sort of kind of like 2% to bring Atlas to level 400, so he's easier to level up later, but uh, there you go, there's Terra. You don't really need to uh, worry about getting to him. He's a nice looking dude right there, and he's going to do tons of DPS for us. You're going to be the greatest man that ever lived. Boom. Every, every level I give you, yeah, you know, just makes my just makes my nuts so happy and perky, you know. You know, you know Tara? You know. You know. So much damage, man. The damage is fucking overwhelming everyone else's damage. Look at this. Zero zero zero. This guy's doing ninety nine point nine. Ninety nine point nine Here we go. Got him. Got him. Let's see how much more I need. Oh, not too much more, is it? Yeah, yeah, let's get that. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of money. Bring him up next time. Alright. <laughs> let's see. I, um. I, uh. I learned something interesting on the internet recently. It's, uh. It was, uh, it was on one of my comments. Uh, I keep talking. Well, I did keep talking. I um, I actually talked one time, like recently, on the on uh, an episode, uh, how I was like, uh, oh, I keep hearing from everybody at 1800. Um, 
idle mode it becomes garbage and you want to switch to active okay so I was like all right once we like you know once we uh what's what's the word once we what am I trying to say here once we once we consistently and comfortably uh, keep getting oh my god uh, keep getting all the way up to 1800 and past 1800 as well not just like stand at 1800 um, not just stand at 1800 it's uh you want to get past it too I was like oh, okay once we get there and we pass it and we pass it consistently uh, then you want to get to active build so you can make more progression happen uh, because otherwise your progression will slow down well you know uh, big man big man on campus over here uh, alpha huh yeah alpha he uh, commented one of my videos recently and uh, he was like nah dude that's all bullshit I idled into like 2500 2600 level 2500 2600 and I was like dude thank you for telling me that because honestly Fucking, uh, switching on my playstyle is, uh, you know, it's a difficult thing to do. I've had to do it, like, multiple, multiple times in this, uh, in this, uh, in this, on, on the channel for Clicker Heroes already. And it's like, it's like, uh, and then now I have to, like, switch to active style, which, like, I work a lot, dogs. I can't, I can't be active all that often, you know. Uh, so how exactly how do you how do you think that'll work out for me per se you know so I'm glad to hear that I can uh, extend the uh, idleness idolosity a little bit longer that's a uh, that's uh, a yeah, a little bit longer meaning like another like 800 900 levels so basically 50 percent more than people were talking about so I'm like all right all right that sounds good to me I can, I can dig it. I'll be happy with that. So, um, and besides, we're not even close to 1900 yet. We haven't even made it to 1600. Basically, at 1580 was our highest one. And on our last progression, we only made it as far as, like, 1560. You know? You know? So, and that's when we had to do it because we, we spent all our, you know, resources and uh, we had to ascend. It was, um, it was an interesting, it was an interesting sight to see how, uh, how just a little bit of uh, hero souls and progression and just waiting could really boost you up uh, in the moment right there. Um, there you go. I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Um, but yeah, so like, um, so, I mean, I'm glad I have a playstyle that caters to that, and I'm glad I have a schedule that caters to that as well, and, you know, it sort of fits not only, like, um, the channel, but, like, how I like to play games, too. Uh, these, these clicker games are, are fun. Like, when I first started, of course, every, like, no one could do, like, idle mode you have to uh, you have to keep clicking because there's no incentive to be idle you know clicking automatically makes you go faster than you know not clicking you know it's just these other people have dps and like your clicking doesn't do as much but it still helps you know the only uh no. and, but uh but once you buy the two big idle people uh see latest and uh, liberatus the, the ones that actually give you benefits and in the form of DPS and in gold um, when you are idle as opposed to clicking that is that is when true idle mode begins and you can start uh, catering your playstyle to that and I have not only catered my playstyle to it I've actually catered my entire you know existence around it my, my, uh, my uh, life at work my life at home my like I go, I, could, I do shit, man. I don't play video games all day. You know, I wish I could play video games all day. That's, uh, that's not how life works, though, man. You can't, you can't be, you can't be unproductive and expect to, you know, make money and continue being alive. That's not how things work. Yeah, so, um, 
So, uh, so at work, I hang out with friends, I hang out with my girlfriend, you know, do lots of things and do with people and other shit, you know, and I have a career that I want to work towards as well, uh, being an actor, you know, I'm saving up money, uh, for that as well to, uh, to, to go super hardcore on it. So, um, oh shit, well, there you go. Um, so, uh, so I got other shit going on. So I'm glad I can come in. And for like an hour, maybe two hours, uh, every like other day or every few days, you know, come in and just be like, yo, let's, you know, let's go, let's do a little try hard act actions right up in here and see if, uh, see how fucking, uh, crazy and awesome we can get this time around, you know? You know? It doesn't, uh, ooh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've unlocked Thalo. We don't want to purchase Thalo now. Thalo can suck my phthalus. Ho <laughs> ho! The jokes. The jokes are too good. <laughs> Alright. Um. <laughs> Tears at 500? Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Here's the, here's the thing, though. Okay, so here's an aspect of uh, switching guilds that I did not... Um, that I didn't cover before. And I, well, mainly because I thought it was obvious, okay? The reason... Um, the, uh, the way you know you're doing great, okay? The way you know you're doing good enough... To, uh, to switch over guilds is if uh, you're basically just idling through enemies instantaneously without them having a health bar as I'm doing right now. Yeah. These enemies are spawning dead basically because my attack is so fucking large uh, on my dude right here. Okay. Now, um, now if we can maintain that, keep it going continue that trend all the way to when Thalo is level a thousand. Has to be a thousand. Every ranger only does better than the previous ranger once they hit level a thousand. Once we get Thalo able to hit level a thousand without us slowing down even a bit, that is how we know that we need to switch over guilds. And that was an aspect I didn't uh, really uh, touch on before. Uh, because I totally forgot it myself, and I was like, oh, maybe we should switch it to Thalo. Well, here's the thing. If you switch it to Thalo, you know, it's gonna maybe gum up the works, slow you down quite a bit, you know? And, um, and that's not what you're trying to go for. What you're trying to go for, you're trying to get, uh, Thalo all the way up to... See, here's the thing. Um, right now Terra's at 625. So, once he's done ranging at 100 levels, he would be on par with uh, Atlas's overall DPS. It's only when Terra reaches level 1000 that he's doing better than Atlas. Okay. And we have to see well, this, this transferring of guilds from Atlas to Terra might not have been smart either. I totally don't know if we slow down on, uh, on our progression before Terra gets to level a thousand or not, I'm I'm confident that we do, just because people have been telling me to switch out, switch it over to Terra. Um, so um, so I've been uh, you know, so, so I, you know, trust them, <laughs> trust people mostly. <laughs> so uh, so I'm pretty sure we do, because otherwise, if we don't, then that would mean that Terra's not good to switch our. Uh, guilds on and Alice would have been the better choice until we get Terra to a point where that happens um, but uh, but we want to see and, and keep an eye out for that same thing happening uh, to Thalo once uh, once again I still don't know if Thalo is overall a better uh, character than Terra uh, or if they're just identical and it's the same thing where it's like once Thalo's level a thousand he's better she's better than Terra then um, I'm not exactly sure that's another thing that before we switch over the guilds I'm gonna have to research or someone's gonna have to tell me in the comments or something but um, 
so let's do that. Um, but uh, but before we even think about it, we need to make sure that we can get Fthalo to level a thousand comfortably while idling through a bunch of dudes um, and killing them instantaneously because uh, otherwise it's just not worth it. If uh, think about it like this, we get Fthalo to like level a thousand right at the end of the last ascension episode where you know where we've already slowed down quite a bit and then at the end it's like okay this is where we stop that's when we get uh Thala to level a thousand that is not optimal because that is when Thala would be doing his her his or her most damage um more damage than Terra, actually so uh, that being said, it would have been smarter to keep at least half of the guilds on Terra beforehand. Um, like, oh shit, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm losing progression here. There you go, much better. Um, so, uh, so that being said, I mean, we could switch half of the guilds on Fthalo when Fthalo's at level 775 when she's done uh, ranging. Because then they're basically at equal strength. Um, well, it's, I mean, that's that's another aspect of it too, isn't it? Oh shit! But this episode's gone on long enough, hasn't it? I'll uh, I'll end it here. One thousand one hundred thirty. Like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I am. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.